hello, caller. How are you doing? Oh, pretty good. How are you, Brody? We're we're doing great, Tyler. Just going to do a quick introduction for anybody at home watching uh, and those of you tuning in on the juice. We have a very special show for you folks today. We have a caller on the line here, a very long-time friend of mine, very competitive gamer, Magic the Gathering player, flesh and blood player, one of the most competitive mm, cardboard players I have ever met, and also one of the free treons. Tyler Friesen, T Freezy on the line today. How are you doing, Tyler? Oh, I'm doing good, man. How are you today? Oh, good, good. Uh, I, I'm sorry I, I duped you into uh, coming on the show. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. You don't mind. All right. You know, I, I know you got... Uh, I'm losing at Pleasure Blood on someone else's channel, too, so it's all good. Right on. Do you mind... Uh, I, I want to talk to you really briefly just about uh, New Phyrexia, because uh, I had a chance to discuss with you. Did You played during New Phyrexia, did you? Yeah, I did. I was kind of like, when I was first getting into like F&M, uh, I started right around uh, Zendikar and World Rig, so that was kind of right before uh, New Phyrexia and Mirrodin. Right, and uh, I talked to you briefly on the phone the other day, you had something kind of interesting to say about how that set was spoiled. What can you tell us there? Well, it got spoiled kind of like uh, a couple... Oh. A fair bit early, just like uh, Karn Liberated and a Phyrexian Obliterator both got spoiled early in Japan. And then after that, there was a PDF file on the internet called The Godbook, which had the like word for word text from almost all the cards on PDF. Like the artwork may have been missing, but you could functionally proxy the cards and know what they did. Okay, so. That. So, uh, some visual spoilers in, in Japanese with no text on them? Oh, well, yeah, like, the, like, yeah, Karn and Fraction of Obliterator. Karn and Obliterator, yeah. And then Maybe the, the game, sorry, the game, the me game mechanics were spoiled in the God Book. Okay, that, I didn't know about, I'd never heard of that. Uh, so that's... I think the Magic Show has a video that kind of goes into it, too, but, uh... More or less, there's a PDF file that like card got added to it every day, and it was before Wizards had had a chance to really spoil any of the cards themselves. Right. Okay. We're gonna see if we can bring up a little more information on on that on the God Book and some of those new Phyrexia spoilers in part of our research. So that gives us a pretty good place to start. Now I know I call myself a Magic: The Gathering player, but as somebody who stepped away from the game during that block and a few other ones, like I had no idea that that type. Of, now, was there pack openings or anything? Was it was there photos or how dirty was how dirty how dirty was it? <laughs> there wasn't pack openings like there are for Baldur's Gate, but there was just like a PDF file that like word for word had every card. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I guess like, w what did you think of the Baldur's Gate pack opening videos? Did you see them? I've seen a couple of them, yeah. Uh, I kind of like the background cards. I think they're going to be cool for Commander. But uh, it's kind of a bummer that it gets spoiled that way. Because there's a lot of time and energy from like the people at uh, WotC that go into generating a hype train. Yeah, it kind of well defeat the 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 initial re reception. That's what the word was. Yeah, reception. yeah, yeah. Like the the time and effort that goes into, and like we're still in streets of New Capenna, right? Oh, for sure. I and mean, it feels like magic has gone that way too, where uh, spoiler season ends just for the next spoiler season to begin. Yeah, right. So we kind of get used to this theme as players when, you know, we we hear about what sets are coming up, what Wizards is working on, and then we, you know, month before or something, we used, get used to seeing some spoilers. Sometimes they come out on the internet, photos, but this is totally different. No, for sure. This is pretty crazy. Like, it must have been uh, disgruntled, like, either, like, someone working for the 
packager or the someone in Watsi themselves. Yeah, like it, it almost it almost kind of right up there with the time spiral resealed uh, type oh, of the F- fiasco. Oh, Ooh, that was bad. Yeah. Yeah, like some dirt, some, something, something went, I mean, it would appear as though something went incredibly wrong there in like the privacy and the packaging and the handling of this, this set. Oh. <laughs> First... <laughs> it's unfortunate because, uh, what's the, oh, Wizards, uh, Magic has been really strong this year. Like I kind of, I took a step back from Magic for like, uh, the double feature, Crimson Bow, uh, and the other one, uh, Hunt. Something hunt, the werewolf Mid- one. Midnight that, hunt, like, yeah. I took I took took in a strap off. I pretty much only really dabbled into turn to return to Zendikar, and I kind of was more focused on flesh and blood for that period. I, I feel you. I feel you. I feel you a hundred percent. I know with the price increases in sets as they're coming out, they seem to get. Uh, more and more expensive, and a guy just can't jump on absolutely everything. Expect, especially if you're not totally sold on the flavor of the set. But that's where spoilers come in. Oh, for sure. And I, I really, but I haven't had opportunities to really play as much as I would have liked. But I really enjoy for uh, Neon Kawayama, and uh, I'm really looking forward to getting to open. Some uh, new Capenna pack. I like. I'm a big fan of the Triumphs from uh, Korea, and I'm excited to get the and then the ones from that deck. Definitely, I did hit one of them in a pre-release kit in foil. One of the new uh, tri- tri- Trilands, and uh, I basically said that's my best card in my pack. Like I, it, it's got to oh, be. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, I think the the foil. That, the standard version of the card in foil is uh, seventeen twenty dollars cash, depending on which one it is. Yeah, they're they're already starting at over ten bucks. I mean, uh... for sure, they're they're good though. They're, they're fetchable. They make like like five color Yorion and uh, even like uh, blue blue and just really strong with that perfect mana. Yeah. Um, was there anything in the Baldur's Gate spoilers that you said, wow, uh, that absolutely like blew your mind, uh, spoiler-wise, or are we still waiting for that? I think we're still waiting for that. I'm assuming you saw the Balderdash video we made. I am going out on a limb on this one. It's maybe against the, against the grain, so to speak, just because... I mean, uh, how do they say bad publicity is still publicity? I'm, I'm in that video. I said uh, that 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 was a purposefully done leak. Now, uh, I mean, let's just be honest with you, each other. Like that may or may not be true. But what do you think? Is that is that at all possible that that's a planned leak? What do you think? Or or are you gonna go? Uh, which side are you on there? It's kind of hard to say. Like without. Uh, everything was for Neon Dynasty. Uh, Evangelion, Neon Kawayama, and uh, New Capenna. They were really tight. Those were really well done. There's a lot of partnerships, even like going back to uh, Chalheim, where they had. Uh, I'm a big heavy metal fan, and they actually had legitimate metal bands, premium cards. Interesting. I, uh, that. They probably would have preferred to go a different route, where like they would have probably tried to get like Matt Mercer from Critical Role to preview a card versus uh, have someone opening packs. Yeah, um, just some card. random guy opening packs with you know choppy feed and <laughs> who knows where yeah. in the back alley, right? Way more than them to send like. A bundle and three Fletcher packs to like each member of Critical Role. So I just I know you got I know you got to go and I I, uh, I want to thank you because I know you got a I know you got a dinner to get to but uh, I got one more question one or one more question if you got the time. Um, 
Like, as a competitive player, I know you said when you were speaking about New Phyrexia and the God Book that you, you know, you could actually proxy all the cards. And that's something that players do, isn't it? To, to prepare for competitive play? Well, people are testing with cards as soon as they're spoiled. Like, in, in a more typical, like, yeah, they're, like, you could, you could have, like, in the sense of standard for game day, you could have solved solve your deck for new Phyrexia standard well before game day, which is usually two weeks after the deck comes out. Right. So that's a huge advantage if, uh, oh, for, yeah. Versus, versus Timmy who shows up with his Birds of Paradise and thinks he's going to go, go the distance. <laughs> yeah, he's going to go the distance against somebody who's seen all the the spoilers that are coming out, worked out the game mechanics in uh, on their own. Uh for sure. For sure, yeah. So, that being said, like, I'm used to a certain kind of a pattern, like, some, a couple of, couple of lands get spoiled, and a couple of cards from each color, and then, you know, Mythic spoiler, then about a week before the actual release, um, you're playing it on Arena, which is, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm wrong there. When's Arena release usually just... I think Arena normally releases with pre-release. Pretty close, eh? Hey? Yeah, I'm not 100% on that. I haven't been too, too up to date with Arena. Yeah, I maybe it's... It was up the week before, but I'm not 100% on that one. Yeah, it's, it's hard to know with the way things have been going in the last couple of years with... Uh, you I know. <laughs> the competitive paper like, play, right? I, I feel like I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to go to the next pre-release. And then I find out that my work has me on call for that weekend almost every time. Yeah, and then and then you go, okay, well, I'll check out the spoilers. Maybe I'm not missing too much. <laughs> yeah. Well, I appreciate you. Uh, I really appreciate you making time to uh, call in and uh, speak to us here on the channel uh, as uh, one of our free treons, longtime original supporter of the channel, one of my friends, best friends, best bros, Tyler Friesen, T Freezy, calling in on the free treon. Thanks, thanks a lot, Tyler. I really appreciate you. Yeah. Well, we'll chat at you later on. Okay, enjoy your supper and stay well. You bet, you too, bud. Well, there you hear it. A little bit from Tyler Friesen on the spoilers for Commander Legends Baldur's Gate. And going back a little bit to New Phyrexia and what we saw there and the discussion on the God Book. We're going to check out a couple of those things. I can't wait to play this back and uh, dig into a little bit of what Tyler was speaking about with New Phyrexia and the spoilers, how they came out, the God Book, as he calls it, uh, that was used to spoil the card mechanics, and then the visual spoilers that we saw, and what's changed between then and now. Thanks a lot for watching. This has been your host, Brody, at Alfonso Investments. Thanks again for watching, and if you haven't already, Smash that like and subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. It lets us know that you are watching. Have a great day, everybody.